All right, everybody, this is a very important day. It is the first public land hunt of the season. And I had two goals coming into this deer season. One, I wanted to shoot my first deer, which we have already done. But two, I wanted to get a deer on public land. So today, that's what we're setting out to do. We're sitting by a big, big swimming field that hasn't been harvested yet. So it's still attracting some of those deer. We're sitting right next to what I would like to call a crossroads. There's about three intersections of trails and then it opens up to this soybean field. The wind is coming straight out of the north, so it's blowing into the soybean field, but the way we're set up, the deer are only going to smell us if they come from the soybean field. So deer coming from this pathway are gonna have no idea. And by the time that they come here, they're gonna be dead. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works out and I'll keep you guys updated. Well, I did not anticipate how hot it was going to be. I knew it wasn't a great hunting day, but geez, this is rough. I'm just laying down here, covering my face, because the sun is insane. The wind is like 15 miles an hour, but it's like coming in bursts, so I'm just baking out here right now. It is really hot, <laughs> and I'm sweating through everything right now. We are going to get us a Boone and Crockett deer today. Mark my words. Here we go. Looks like we stumbled upon someone's mineral site. They got a camera right up there and a tree stand. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully we don't disturb this area a whole lot, but I thought it was kind of cool. Well, we saw part of a deer at least. Well. It's skeleton. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it looks really small, so I guess it must have been a fawn. And I guess coyotes got to it, or, or maybe it was a yearling and someone shot it and couldn't find it. But we're gonna keep moving. Looks like we found a watering hole, a little pond. There's a field this way, and then there's a field back there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk all around it, see if there's a specific way that deer are traveling, because I know they have to be hit in this water. Maybe we'll be able to sit here for the rest of the night, not sure. If the deer sign isn't showing, then I'm not real confident, but we're gonna look and hopefully we find some. I think this is the spot we're gonna sit at, so it's almost two o'clock. We got till about 7 o'clock to hunt. We're just going to sit here. We're going to hunker down. We're going to stay quiet. And hopefully deer comes in this afternoon. We got two soybean fields behind us. And so hopefully this is a nice travel corridor. I'm looking for a mature buck or a doe. Hopefully I can get my first deer on public land today. It would be really awesome. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we had a fellow hunter come in, kind of bust the area out. I just decided to let him hunt it, and we're gonna go check out this other uh, pinch point that's between the river and, and some public land. It's a real tight pinch point, so we're gonna try that out. Hopefully we see something. We got a couple hours left of daylight, so I mean, it is what it is, you know, things happen, and we're just gonna try and uh, figure out a way to uh, make the best of it, so, or make the most of it, so. We're going to keep moving. We found an arrow. I have never seen so much food. Our private land has less food than this. There's acorns everywhere, so it doesn't really define movement because no matter where a deer goes, they have acorns. And there's so many soybean fields. 
that they could be in any of them, but I've spy glassed all of them and I'm not seeing deer. Uh, it could be because of the pressure. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm new to this stuff, so I haven't given up completely. I'm probably done for the day. We're gonna try and head back, but we're also gonna scout a little bit more as we're heading back. But uh, yeah, this stuff is really hard. But I'm up for a challenge, and it's it's only October what October 6th I think. So I'm not all that worried. We're gonna keep trying. I'm gonna get better every single time. I learn something new every single time I come out here. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Oh, there's a deer. Seriously, that's a deer. Henry, I don't see it. We snuck up here and I just uh, tried to use my binoculars and we spooked her. We were too loud. I don't know if I could have done anything different here, but it is what it is. That's my first time trying to do a spot and stalk anyways. So we tried. We're gonna go check some of the other fields and hopefully we see another one. All right, everybody, this is the actual end of the video. It didn't work out as planned, but we got to do a lot of new things, and I'm learning. That's part of Hunt Vlog. You guys are gonna experience all of my failures and all of my successes, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in next week's video.